Hello and congratulations on installing IC3D's free trial. In today's video, I want to take you through the first steps of the trial from receiving your trial license to eventually opening and using IC3D. The first thing you guys will see is the order received screen upon purchasing the free trial. This screen contains your free IC3D trial license code and it will also indicate a link to download the software has been sent to the email you entered. Please remember to check your junk and spam folders. Let's go ahead and check our email and see if we can find our download. I've got Outlook for my email here, and there it is. You should receive a thank you for your order, and inside of here will tell you your, again, your trial license code, how long it's valid until, and then, of course, the download for the IC3D trial. Go ahead and select this button here to go open up our download page. This is the IC3D download page, and here we can scroll down to find our Mac version of the trial and our PC version of the trial. I'm going to select Windows 7, as that's the machine I am on, and go ahead and download your installer. Once your IC3D installer has been downloaded, go ahead and click that to open the IC3D installer. Sometimes Microsoft Defender Smart Screen will prevent you from opening an unrecognized app. All you have to do is hit More Info and Run Anyway. And the publisher, of course, is Creative Edge Software. Go ahead and hit Run Anyway. And the IC3D splash screen should open up. These will be the instructions for the Mac side of installing the installer. What you'll want to do is select the Mac application for the .dmg and just save that. Once downloaded, you'll want to go ahead and open that up. And from here, double click the installer. If your Mac settings are set to high security, we will have to do an extra step. From here, don't close this window and head over to your preferences panel. And we're looking for the security panel. Select this and go ahead and open up the lock by inputting your administrator password. And then go ahead and go back to the first window and hit OK. That should open up an option inside of our security panel to open up the, uh, the installer. And once we select that, we should be able to reopen the installer and then just hitting open. And this should start with our splash screen and our language settings. From here, select your language and then hit OK. And now you'll be given the IC3D setup screen. Inside of here, it's very easy. Just have to hit Next, Accept for our user license agreement. and then install it in your program files or your applications folder. Before installing, you must have Adobe Illustrator closed as IC3D will install some plugins for the connection to happen. Hitting Next will immediately start installing your free trial of IC3D. From here, IC3D should now be installed in your Programs or Applications folder. So let's head over there. And open up IC3D Suite folder. And inside of here, we should have IC3D and the IC3D Render Manager. Go ahead and double-click IC3D. 
the, for the first time of opening IC3D, IC3D will ask you to input your license number. This number can be found on the email sent by IC3D or on the web page where you purchase the IC3D trial. All we have to do is copy that number and paste it into your license number box. From here, you should have a activate option and go ahead and click that and you should see the license was successfully activated. From here, hit OK, and then OK again. Welcome to your evaluation copy of IC3D Suite. Your temporary license has 29 days after today remaining. This will tick down as your trial goes down, so you know how long you have left on your trial. Hitting OK should open up IC3D's main application. Take note that the IC3D trial will only include designer and modeler options. This will not include the full suite and full range of IC3D, what IC3D has to offer. For more information about that, please contact IC3D on our website or simply email us back at sales at creativeedgesoftware.com. Once you've opened IC3D, your first thing you should see is the IC3D welcome page. Inside of here, we have tutorials, tips, and of course, the latest features that IC3D does offer. Going to the Getting Started page, you'll find our Quick Start Guide area. This is going to include a lot of guides for first-time users, and this is where you can find documentation on how to use IC3D. Simply click on anything that you'd like to learn more about, and you can view it inside of here or download the PDF version for a high resolution view. Next over, you've got tips and tutorials. This is going to include lots of different video format tips and of course tutorials that you'll find very useful when starting out IC3D. Now, of course, if you hit the more tutorials button here, you'll be sent to our IC3D webpage, which is updated weekly with new content and fun, exciting tutorials that you can follow along at home. Now from here, go ahead and hit close and you'll be presented with IC3D's main page. Thank you so much for joining me as I take you through the first steps on downloading and installing your IC3D trial. My name's Adam Chop, and stay tuned for part two, where we take a look at the main application and get some items into our scene.